Hello, 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 and welcome to Follow Up Friday. So one of the problems I see with entrepreneurs is that they're showing up at networking events and they're not getting any results out of them. And it's usually because they're not following up with people after attending events. And last week I talked about preparing in advance before you're networking. So you can watch that video um, on my blog page, or if you're on my email list, you can check last Friday's email. So there's, it's really important to prepare before you network and what intention you're going to the events with who you're looking for and what you're gonna ask and what you're gonna say about yourself and what you do. And then you wanna get results from these events, right? So if you're in that place where you've been networking and not getting results, then stay tuned today. You're in for a treat because I'm gonna be sharing three tips, three things that you can do to improve the results you're getting from the networking events you're attending. So if you're watching this as a replay, because it's going everywhere on social media, and you have any comment or questions, please post it down below and I will come back in and respond, okay? And if you're new to my world, I'm Debbie Hoffman. I'm a sales and follow-up expert, and I work with heart-centered coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs of all sorts, heart-centered entrepreneurs who are leaving money and clients on the table. They're slipping through the cracks because they don't have a reliable sales and follow-up system in place. And I work with you to create a step-by-step -step process so that you know what to do and what to say at every step of the process and ultimately have more ideal clients saying yes to working with you, right? That's what we want. We wanna work with our favorite clients, people that we love to work with. I feel so blessed that the clients I'm working with, I love and adore. So we always wanna work with people that we really feel a connection to. All right, so again, what we're talking about today is that most entrepreneurs are not getting results from the networking events they're attending. So if you're going from event to event to event, and you're not following up with people, why go to these events, right? I, I talk to people all the time and they tell me, I go to four to eight events a week or month, not a week. Oh my God, that would be horrible. Four to eight a month. And I said, are you getting any clients or, or partners or is anything coming from it? And they say no. And it's usually because they haven't set the time aside in their calendar. So that's my first tip for you. As soon as you book the um, event and put it in your calendar, schedule time, block out time for the next few weeks in your calendar to follow up with people. So make an appointment with yourself and call it follow up from eWomen Network or whatever event or polka dot, whatever event you're attending. And if it's a weekend event, the longer the event, the more time and the more days you want to schedule that follow up. If you're just going to an hour event or two hour event, just set aside 15 minutes, 30 minutes for the next couple, two, three days. You should be fine. Okay. So that's uh, step number one is to put the event in your calendar and block out time in your calendar for the next few days after the event to do the follow up. Because if you don't do that, it won't happen because your calendar gets full. And I recommend to keep that time sacred, like treat it as if it was an appointment with a client. If you're on with a client, you're not gonna be checking text messages or Facebook Messenger or your emails, right? So during your time that you've set aside to make these calls, please don't do anything else, okay? Don't let anything else get in the way. Then the next thing that you can do to make the whole, to streamline your whole follow-up process is that when you're at the event, whether it's online or in person, you can do this, is if there's someone you have a great connection with that you know you want to partner up with, or they leaned in and were interested in what you have to offer for themselves, make the appointment right then and there for the follow-up call so that you don't have to be playing phone tag or text tag or email tag, right? And ask them, would you like to schedule a time right now? Do you have your calendar with you? Most people do on their phone, but some people have separate calendars that are not on their phone. So just always ask for permission so you'll never be perceived as being salesy or pushy. So would you like to make an appointment for us to reconnect? And if they're a potential client, you would invite them if you offer a discovery session or whatever it is that you do with people who are interested in what you offer, you would give them one calendar link. If you wanna connect with them to talk about collaborating, 
to you know learn about each other's businesses and see if and how you can support each other, then you would give them a different calendar link. So that's a whole other conversation that I'll talk about in a different uh, a video tip about having different calendars for different appointment types. Then the, the next thing I wanna share, so that was secret number two or tip number two is make the appointment then with the people that you have the best connection with. Don't wait because it's just so much time wasted going back and forth. So the third thing I wanna talk about, and I've mentioned this before, and I'm gonna harp on it because it is so critical, is if you don't have a CRM in place, a customer relationship management system in place, you need to get one because it will help you keep track of all of the people you're meeting at these events or after you speak or wherever you meet people, it's gonna help you keep track of all these people. So I have vetted several systems from super easy to use and affordable to more complicated and more expensive. And I will post down below the link, but I'll also share it here. You can go to my website, powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash resources, or just go to powerupyourfollowup.com and you'll see the tab at the top for resources. Most of them have free trials and you can check them out and see if it fits your needs. And everyone's got different technological capabilities. So you wanna make sure it's one that's gonna be easy for you to use, okay? So when you have a CRM in place and you come back from your networking event, you'll put all the people's contact info in there. If you met a lot of people, you can add them to an Excel spreadsheet, which I recommend you have ready when you're networking online. And then you can just upload everybody from the spreadsheet in one fell swoop. So you don't have to be typing in individual people one at a time. Um, if you have a VA, give them this job to do. Don't do it. This is not a good use of your time. And you can hire people in the Philippines or South America for five to $8 an hour, and they can do this for you. So please, 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 if you can uh, budget it in, have somebody else do it for you so that you can be spending your time on only the things that you can do, like your genius, which is having enrollment conversations and coaching your clients, okay? So with the CRM, you'll add everybody into the system and then you will put the notes in of everything that you talked to this person about and then you'll tag them. And you can watch the video I did uh, several weeks ago on CRMs to get more info, but you wanna tag people as potential client or potential JV or power partner or team support. Maybe you met somebody who's a copywriter and you're looking for that, you know, somebody for you or for your clients. So you can tag them as team support copywriter. So that way you'll be able to find people easily. Like if you're trying to remember the name of the, like, oh, I met a realtor at this networking event. I can't remember his or her name. You would go into your CRM, put in realtor and all the people would show up, right? So it's easy way to find people when you forget their name. And then the key thing with the CRM is whenever you leave a message for somebody or text them or message them on social media, you need to set a reminder for the next step or else they'll slip through the cracks and you'll forget about them because you'll move on to the next thing, okay? So these are the three tips. You can implement these right away. Next time you go to a networking event, schedule time in your calendar for the follow-up. When you're at the event, schedule the time to the appointment with the person right then and there whenever you can. And the third is to get a CRM to keep track of all of your contacts and keep them in your process so that they don't fall out of existence. So I'd love you to share your takeaways, insight, and ahas down below. And um, I'd like to invite you all to my next networking event. This is a great place for you to practice everything that I just shared today. I bring together heart-centered entrepreneurs every month on the third Wednesday of the month to connect, collaborate, support each other. It's been an incredible uh, community that I've created. People love being there and everyone's so supportive and loving and helpful. People are getting speaking gigs. They're getting podcast interviews. They're getting client referrals. It's been amazing. So if you go to powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash networking, you can check out the details and it's free. Going forward, I have decided to invite you all for free every month. 
for at least the near term future, okay? And we have a speaker every month, Barbara Ames will be speaking. She's an amazing um, coach and friend of mine. Um, she'll be talking about how to fill your program courses or calendar with ideal clients. So please join us. And also every week, I'm gonna check right now, I'm part of Be Connected, which is this new social media platform. And I am gonna check right now to see if there's anybody asking any questions. All right, there's nothing right now, but you can come over there and join live. The email, I'll put the link down below for Be Connected. You can join for free uh, for now, and then you can always upgrade later if you want to. And it's a place where you can learn from other coaches and speakers. There's, there's shows every day. People are going live and you can ask questions and then you can collaborate, reach out. It's a great place to find partners to collaborate with and even potential clients. So I will put that link uh, down below as well. So I'll see you next week on uh, follow-up Friday. I come on at 10 a.m. Pacific. And if there's any topic that you're particularly interested in that you'd like me to discuss, please email me at debbie at poweruppyourfollowup.com. I'd love to serve you and provide information on topics that are um, top of mind for you, okay? So have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you next week on Follow Up Friday. Bye for now.